Hey, what's up, everybody, man? So, at this point, man, the Browns deserve to be ass. You know, like, it, it just don't really make sense right now. Like, the Browns, we ain't never had shit, you know? We never had shit. Had never had no quarterback. Never had no head coach, for real. Never had, well, we didn't have running backs like Jim Brown. But, you know, we ain't never had shit, for real, for real, for real, you know? We always been the bottom of the barrel. After going 0-16, we start adding talent. We start coming up slowly but surely. We we acquired Odell Beckham Jr. This is a superstar receiver. You feel me? This is a top 10 wide receiver talent when healthy, bruh. We get him on the team. Don't even know how to utilize him, you know? The first year, we can low-key give a pass because, you know, Freddie could just say no what the hell he was doing. You feel me? Second year, got held back because of Baker Mayfield and partially Kevin Stefanski. This year, same shit. Or am I missing a year? How long has Odell been? At least three years. Oh, he got hurt last year, too. That's what happened. But, yeah, he got hurt last year. And, you know, still, Baker Mayfield and Stefanski. But this year, they doing the same thing. Baker, he's standing in the pocket looking at him, hesitating to throw the ball, throwing the ball late, throwing the ball inaccurate, looking at him and just looking off and not throwing the ball. All types of BS. You know, I'm tired of, this, I'm tired of that shit, you know? Then, you got um Kevin Stefanski, though. Mr. Coach of the Year, Mr. Office of Guru, can't even utilize the number one wide receiver. You feel me? Can't even utilize top 10 talent. But he know how to utilize Adam Thielen, though. Couldn't utilize Stephon Diggs either, though. You see Diggs, he out there on Buffalo balling. But you get older Beckham Jr. on the team. You got Jarvis Landry. You got some other dudes that's cool receivers like Higgins, um, Donald People Jones, etc. But you don't know how to get Odell the ball. Kevin Stephon... <clears throat> Kevin Stefanski issue, he's too conservative, bruh. All he want to do is run the ball, which is great because we, that, that's the heart of our team. He'll run some play action. But the difference between him and other teams, Odell, he don't run no... We, when was the last time we seen somebody really get hit on the go route? We don't take no shots deep. Everything is just conservative. We do play action. Everything's underneath. Baker's rolling out. You know, it's a lot of just safe BS going on. You know, like we're not really utilizing O.D. Beckham Jr.'s full potential. The only time we really get the ball is on slants, screen routes. You feel me? And that's when they just feel like they ain't getting the ball in a long time. They'll give him a screen, probably a little curl. They don't give him no opportunities to go downfield and showcase that he is that dude, you know? Odell, he's made it clear he wants to be a Hall of Famer. He doesn't want to be held back. He knows who he is. He knows what he can do for a team. So this really was bound to happen, you know? And just to see that his father went on Instagram and made that post, posting that YouTube video, letting it be known, like, you know what? I usually keep this under radar, but today, this is what it is. Like, y'all really be having my son out here running routes, exercising wide open, and just not throwing on the ball, you know? That he let that be known. And really what that was, he was trying to help Odell get traded. He caused that drama himself, and I respect it. He's the father. You know, he know that his son don't want to be there, and he know that his son ain't trying to cause a big scene about it. Odell has been trying to stay solid. I realized that this year because it's the same old shit. He's not getting the rock. He's not getting the targets. They are not letting him impact the team. They're not letting him make his career out to where, what he wants it to be. You know, he has the talent. They're just not utilizing it. So, based off how the media already looks at him, how they already twist his words around, and how they already make false narratives like they've been doing for the past few years, which is why I've made that old Dub Beckham Jr. series. The, the next episode, episode six, is coming out ASAP. I promise you when they drop the film, go check it out. But, as you can see, he knows how the media looks at him and shit like that. So, he didn't want to be the one to cause the scene. His dad stepped up to the plate and did what he did. And today, Odell Beckham Jr. come in for practice, and they excuse him from practice. When I heard that news, I knew it was some BS, bro. I knew some BS was about to happen. Then they come out and say Kevin Stefanski told the team that Odell is currently not on the team. Like, what the fuck? Like, what do you mean? Like, if this was, this was about to be, why did you just trade him yesterday? You know? Then, what really blew me, which I already knew was probably about to happen, they said he is not going to play another snap for the team for the rest of the season, bro. Once again, if this was the intentions, why didn't you just trade him yesterday? They said the Saints hit us up. We just ain't have, well, they just didn't, they weren't trying to give us what they really 
what, what, what we was looking for. But now we about to lose him for nothing. So it's like, why didn't we just trade him? I know other teams hit us up too. We just stupid. We're stupid. The Browns always find a way to be the Browns, bro. They always find a way to look bad. They always find a way to embarrass the fan base. They always find a way to not use lost players. And then, bro, you're also busy sitting up here trying to figure out if Odell's to blame, if Baker's to blame, if Baker plays better without Odell. Ain't nobody really points to Stefanski like I said. Stefanski is a part of the issue. Baker Mayfield is a part of the issue. Odell only gets probably like 5 to 10% of the blame. You feel me? Because he dropped a few passes. But that's because he has a shoulder injury. You're catching the ball, you got to extend for the ball, right? Right. If his shoulder fucking with him, he probably going to drop some shit. It's pretty much that simple, you know? So that's that. But I'm really disappointed. Like, I'm going to extend this video into the actual Browns fans because I this is some more stuff I really wanted to get off on my chest. Everybody's sitting up here protecting Baker Mayfield every single week. It don't matter if he play bad, don't have no touchdowns, he's sticking up. They supporting the fuck out of Baker Mayfield. And this shit makes me mad because as a Browns fan, you guys are settling. You guys are settling. We never had shit. We never had a quarterback. So when we get a quarterback like Baker Mayfield, y'all want to hype him up. Y'all want to protect him at all costs. He ain't really all that. Baker Mayfield is not the quarterback that y'all think he is. Baker Mayfield's flaws are being hidden by Kevin Stefanski, bro. It's pretty much that simple. Kevin Stefanski, you know how to use quarterbacks. He may not be able to use lots of other talent on the team, but he's shown he knows how to work with quarterbacks, you know? You see what he did with Case Keenum in Minnesota. You see what he did with him when he sucked him in, and you see what he's doing with Baker Mayfield right now. Baker Mayfield is just not that good. He's not that guy to stand back in the pocket and just deliver and deliver and be the reason why you win the games. That's not who he is, bro. He's just better than every other quarterback that we the fucking had, bro. It's pretty much that simple. But y'all want to settle. Y'all settling as fans. He needs a lot of blame. He is not that guy. I don't... He is not that guy, bro. Stop protecting him like he Peyton Manny or Deshaun Watson or something like that. Baker Mayfield is not the dude that y'all think he is. Cut it out. Stop giving him passes. Stop with the BS. If he playing bad, throw that shit on him, man. Like, he shouldn't even be out there. Like, with it, if, it, if he's hurt, he shouldn't even be out there. They were talking about he's playing better without Odell. We don't need Odell. We do need Odell. We do need Odell. We just don't know how to use him. We need a receiver like Odell. We need talent like Odell on the roster. Just because Baker's hesitating to get him the rock and Kevin Stefanski struggling to feature him into the offense does not mean that Baker Mayfield plays better without Odell. Yeah, his numbers look better without Odell, but what does that really mean? Like, Odell's, Odell's has a, a, a very extremely high... Win percentage on his routes. He's open. You look at the series, look at the film, he's open on a lot of plays. Baker just cannot get it done, bro. He cannot get it done. He, he cannot get it done. The fact that he's playing better without Odell Beckham Jr. is just a coincidence. And it's unacceptable. If you got Odell Beckham Jr. running routes for you, you should be able to throw him the ball. You should be able to utilize that talent, bro. You see all these other quarterbacks that's not even as good as Baker Mayfield. They throwing the ball today, number one wide receiver by any means. You feel me? Fuck it. You know, like, come on. I'm like, it ain't that hard, bro. It's not that hard. You know? And then, bro, we really a disappointment right now. We 4-4. Four four. We supposed to be better than that. Our defense has been settling all year. We have talent on both sides of the ball. Both sides of the ball, bro. And we just cannot go out there and close out games. We can't go out there and just beat on teams. We can't consistently win. We're not even showing ourselves as a realistic threat for the Super Bowl. I don't understand how our defense can totally get revamped and still look as bad as it was, if not worse at times than it was last year. The only thing that really improved was the run D. You feel me? The run D was already improving. Pretty much the only thing that improved. Pass coverage is still as horrible as it was last year. Joe Woods gotta be. Oh my god, I just hit myself in my shit. Ah, y'all feel me? But, um, damn, man, that's crazy. But, more of the story, man. Y'all gotta stop selling for what's going on, man. We, we supposed to be better than this, bruh. We supposed to be better than this, bruh. Odell, 
I mean, the defense is supposed to be better than this, bro. And it, it, we got too, we just got too much talent, bro. To see a team like the Browns come from nothing and get all this talent and just not be good, not be beating on teams and still having issues, it's just really upsetting. And this Odell Beckham Jr. situation, he about to get cut. It is what it is. He about to get cut. So it makes us look no better. It makes us look like the poverty franchise that we're known as, you know? And it's fucked up. So the Browns, man, they want to be ass, man. They got to just let, let me know. Y'all, if that's what y'all want to be, just let me know, man. I, I thought y'all was tired of being ass. But if y'all just want to be ass, let me know. Just let me know so I can just stop fucking with y'all, man. Because I ain't really about to keep watching these games. Y'all ain't got no intention of really being raw. Like, I'm a real fan, you know. Like, I've been around. I done watched every game, 0-16, all that. Like, But if y'all don't have any plans of taking that leap seriously, why am I even fucking with y'all, you know? Let me know what y'all think in the comment section, man. Like, comment, subscribe. We got some more content coming soon.